So here's another example where I'm going to calculate the Pareto set or the contract curve. Uh, initial endowment for agent A is 2, good 1, 1, good 2, or good X, good Y. All right, so this is good X, this is good Y. And same for initial endowment for agent B. The utility functions are as follows. So agent A values X more than Y because it's power 2 thirds, whereas uh, power for Y is 1 third. Whereas agent B uh, values both X and Y equally. So for example, in this very question, it's really hard to answer the question, oh, is, is the initial endowment a Pareto efficient or not? I mean, you really need a calculator to check the utilities, the calculate the, but finding the Pareto efficient set uh, or the contract curve will make our life much easier. And the contract curve in this example is not gonna be a straight line, but it's gonna be a curve. So let's find that. As usual, how do, I, how do we find the, uh, the contract curve? The marginal rate of substitution for agent A has to be equal to marginal rate of substitution for agent B, which is, well, what is marginal rate of substitution for agent A? Um, well, it's minus uh, del u of A del x del u of a del y all right so what is the utility marginal utility with respect to good x so it's don't forget the minus so it's two-third x to the power this minus one so minus one-third times one over or y to the power one-third that's it what is the partial derivative with respect to y i mean what is the marginal utility with respect to y so it's one-third y to the power minus 2 third times x to the power 2 third. So what we do, we send y up and then x down. So to the power, x to the power 1, y to the power 1. So this 2 third and 1 third cancels, or 1 third will cancel out. So it's minus 2 y over x. At this point, it's a good idea to put a subscript just to denote this is agent A's uh, uh, Y and this is agent A's X. Marginal rate of substitution for agent B, however, is del U B del X divided del U B del Y. So the marginal utility with respect to, oh, by the way, we already know that this is nothing but minus Y over X B B, okay? So the marginal rate of substitutions are equal to each other means minus 2 ya divided by xa must be equal to minus yb divided by xb. So the minus terms will cancel out. So just ignore that. That's it. That's the contract curve. All right. Um, once again, it's, I mean, you can leave it as is, but it would be nice to write the entire contract curve if you want to draw it as a function of one agent's good x and good y, all right? So here, the number of unknowns is four. It's, it's, it's nice to reduce it to down to two. So how do we do that? By using the feasibility constraint. The feasibility here is the following, the ya plus yb. So the total number of y consumption has to be equal to total number of y endowment, which is two. And then, oops, not y, it's going to be x. So xa plus xb has to be equal to 4. So therefore, whenever you see yb, just plug 2 minus ya. And whenever you see uh, xb, just write 4 minus xa. Okay? So, therefore, the contract curve is the following. 2 times ya divided by xa. Uh, the left-hand side is the same. The right-hand side is 2 minus ya, right? yb is equal to this. And then xb is 4 minus xa. So do the cross product. Bear with me. Um, so we have um, 8 ya minus 2 ya xa equals to 2 xa minus xa ya. All right? So what do I have? So these are not gonna cancel out. I mean, this is minus two, this is uh, minus one. So I'm gonna send this guy to the other side. So it's gonna be plus x a y a, all right? Plus two x a equals to eight y a. 
So leave Y alone. Oh, also bring this if you like. So, or I don't know, as you wish. So uh, 8YA minus XAYA equals 2XA. So take into YA parentheses, it's 8 minus XA equal to 2XA. Therefore, YA equals to 2XA divided by 8 minus XA is another way of writing the contract curve. All right. So if I mean, again, this is best if you would like to uh, draw the um, uh, uh, contract curve. But if you want to just check if an allocation is proto efficient or not, just leave it as this. All right. For example, is the initial endowment proto efficient in this problem? Well, just use this one. I mean, of course, you can use this one, too. All right. Uh, but, you know, Finding this requires a lot of calculations. So use this. Uh, YA is, so this is agent A, this is Y, so it's 1. So 2 times 1 divided by XA, which is 2, so it's basically 1. Is this equal to YB over XB? YB is 1, XB is 2, 1 health. Is 1 equal to 1 health? No. Therefore, the initial endowment is not satisfying the contract curve, which means this point is not on the contract curve. Hence, it's not Perdot efficient allocation. Okay, that's it. Pick another um, allocation. I don't know. For example, uh, 1, 1, and then uh, the 3, uh, 1. All right. So, so agent, remember, this is feasible because this is total 4, this is total 2. Is this proto efficient? Probably not. Well, again, check. So 2 times YA, so it's 2 times 1, divided by XA, which is uh, 1. So therefore, it's 2. Is this equal to YB divided by XB? YB is 1, XB is uh, 3. So 2 is not equal to 1 third. Hence, this is also not Preto efficient. All right. So exactly with this fashion. How can I find an allocation which is on the contract curve? Well, now use this, okay? So for example, let XA be one. Well, then what should be YA? So if XA is one, well, then YA should be two times one divided by eight minus two times one. So this is six, two divided by six, which is equal to one over three. So therefore, X A equals uh, one, Y A equals one over three. Therefore, X B equals, remember there are total four, and so three, Y B equals the rest, two minus one third. So two minus one third is five over uh, three. So this is Perdo efficient, all right? To, I mean, you can, you can plug it here and check it's the same, uh, but doesn't, I mean, this is how we get the uh, point. So why XA equals one? I mean, pick any other point, XA zero, all right? So if XA is zero, well then YA should be zero. So agent A gets nothing. And hence by feasibility, agent B gets everything is also pretty efficient. So basically uh, in this economy, let me just draw the Edgeworth box and then finish this question. So this is a four by two. All right. Uh, well, if this is two, this is probably four. I don't know. Okay. So this is uh, again, one, two, one, two, three, four. So this is where agent A is. So the zero, zero is a uh, proto efficient. If X A, so this is X, this is Y. All right. Good one, good two. Um, and then uh, if XA is, for example, uh, one, two, three, four at most. So if it is four, uh, YA is going to be uh, eight divided by uh, four, which is two. All right. So therefore, this point is also pretty efficient. All right. Well, what else? For example, if XA is one. If XA is one, we already found that YA should be one over three. So one over three is somewhere here. So something like this. Okay, so if XA is two, 
all right? This is going to be 4 divided by 6, so it's going to be 2 over 3. And 2 over 3 is somewhere... Uh, oh, 2 over 3 is still less than 1. So somewhere here, all right? And so on. So I think you got the idea, all right? Something like this. So this is what the contract curve in this problem will look like. All right, I hope that was clear.